All right, what's happening, my dudes? Welcome back to the channel. Um, we have a, an unboxing, but also an installation of something today. We're gonna check it out in a second here. Uh, first of all, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do it. You'll be happy that you did, I promise you. And uh, follow me on Instagram, duties underscore daggers. So, um, in this package, we have some scales. Uh, I am upgrading some scales on one of my knives. And let's just check them out. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Awesome. Uh, I've been wanting to do it for a while and um, finally did. So, um, these are scales for the Griptilian. Uh, I'm tired of these plastic scales. Um, they are very comfortable, but, you know, I like my scales to be either micardo or some kind of metal usually. Um, so, yeah, it's time to upgrade. These are from um, Applied Weapons Tech, AWT, and they are aluminum. Uh, they also, I, I decided to get the raw aluminum, um, just because I have so many knives that are, you know, monochromatic, um, and I just want to keep that look going. I, I really like that look. So that's what we're doing. Um, they also sell these with um, that are Cerakoted, so if you don't like the raw, you can get a bunch of different colors um, and uh, all that good stuff. All right, so they're, yeah, they're aluminum, so they're light, but I like that they're thick. They're nice and thick, which is very good. Got some milling on the inside, got the logo there. And then um, it also comes with a backspacer. And um, you can choose to pay a little a little extra, like a couple bucks extra for stainless hardware, or you can use your own hardware. But um, I decided to get the stainless hardware. We'll see how it looks. Um, I may end up just going with you know, the black hardware, we'll see though. So, um, yeah, I've never taken apart the Griptilian before. I've taken apart some other Benchmades though. Um, so hopefully I don't have too much trouble. I'm gonna use my CRKT copper um, little driver spinner here. I'll put a link for this below, it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a travel case deal with all your bits in there. Um, so let's see, we're gonna need a T6. Where is it? That's a tiny one. What is that? That looks really small. Is that a... Um... Oh, that's a T8. That's why. Okay, where's my T6? There it is. Yeah, so we're going to need the T6. And we're going to need... What is it? A T8 or a T10. I think it's a T10 for the pivot. It's a T9... T10 for the pivot, yeah. Okay. So we got our two bits, and um, let's take this thing apart. So I had already purchased a uh, deep carry pocket clip for this guy um, from MXG. So um, I thought it would look weird with these aluminum scales with the stock clip, so I had already purchased this. So let's pop this guy off. I'm liking this driver. This is the first time I've owned something, um, you know, one of these type of drivers with the, the bearing on the top. And it really does make um, unscrewing things much, much easier. All right, I'll set that over there. Now, let me take a look here. Okay, so we have body screws that are only screwed in from this side. There's none on this side. So let's take those out first, I suppose. Wow, that's a long one. Check that out. So I'm assuming that's going to be one of these long ones. OK, is this another long one? Yep. So those are the two longies. And then this must be a short guy. Nope, another longie. So wait, so why do I only have two longies in the package that I got? I wonder. Huh. Maybe I'm gonna have to reuse one of those. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, let's take the pivot off. Put in our T10. 
I need to Loctite this anyways. Um, it's been kind of coming loose, so uh, that will happen. Oh yeah, and then we got one more screw here that holds on the liner, kind of uh, locking, or uh, access lock kind of mechanism area. That's a little short guy. We should be able to pop that off. Okay, very nice. Now, can we just pop the new one on, or do we have to, let's see, let me think here. Maybe. Well, no, the pivot's gonna have to come out, huh? Yeah, the pivot's gonna have to come out. All right, I'll go ahead and take the pivot out. It's a D-shaped pivot, so just gotta make sure that you're putting that in back the right way. There's only one way you can do it. Come on, little guy. I know you want to come out. Let me thread the screw back in and then push it. There we go. Benchmade knives are a little tricky to take apart. Um, you know, definitely more tricky than a frame or, or liner lock type knife. Okay, the access lock just jumped up there. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this scale on, I think. Um, yeah, and let's just screw in the little short guy here that holds on the liner part. So that is held. Ooh, I can already tell that's gonna look sweet. All right, now let's take off this side, the body, or the uh, liner screw. And hopefully, we won't have to take the blade off at all. That would be nice. Okay, so, how does this backspacer work? Looks like... Okay, just two screws. Okay, that's easy enough. Let's pop the new scale on. There's a little bit of aluminum in there from when they were getting this hole. Let me get this out of there. Get out of there. There we go. A little bit in this one too. All right. So this might be a little tricky. I'm trying to think. I think I'll put these two long ones in. Oh, I know why there's only two long ones in because that's all you need on with the new with the new setup here. Makes sense. All right. So Oh, I just remembered or realized I'm not really centered. There we go. Sorry, guys. All right, let's see if I can line these up right to there. Can you go in, please? Yes, you can. Can you go in, please? Yes, you can. Very good. All right, those are loosely in. Let's put in our little liner screw. I'm glad I got the stainless hardware. This is already looking pretty sweet. Okay, so we are kind of together here. Now I just need to try to get the pivot back in. And let me think here, which side is it coming in on? Um, it's coming in on this side, I think, right? Let me think, let me think. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's coming in back here, okay. So I'm gonna pull down the axis lock and try to get this in. Let's get that washer over. Okay, which way does it go? It goes this way, okay. This would be sweet if it just went right in. I don't think it will. What's in the way here? Okay. What 
that's holding it up. Come on. Come on now. What's the problem? Why don't you want to go in, sir? They do make a tool to keep all this in line, which I probably should get, which would it'd be so nice right now. Um, it just holds everything kind of in the pivot together while you do whatever you're going to do, and then you just slide it out and replace it with the pivot. Uh, what is happening? Yeah, it's faced the right way. Come on, buddy. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to start over here. So why is this not going in? It's really tight for some reason. What's happening? Um, maybe I should tighten this down. Which way does it go in now? Um, let me think, let me think. It goes in this way, okay. I think there's probably like a little shaving of aluminum in there. Um, I'm not sure why it would not be going in. Come on, dude, I know you want to. You know you want to go in. Try it this way just to see. Okay, that worked. Is that, no, that's the wrong way though. Okay, so we know it does go in. Let's push it back out. Um, I wonder if I should stop the video, but I feel like I'm close, so I'm just gonna keep going. Just bear with me, folk -a -roonies. Or you can fast forward, I guess, until I get it. Why is it not going through the side? Why? Why do you do this to me? It almost, it's almost like the whole, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's just kind of tight. The, uh, the pivot hole in the aluminum scale is a little bit too tight. Um, that's what the problem is. That's what the problem is. There we go. Whew. All right. It's in. It's in. It's in. It's in. Oh, all right. We freaking did it, folks. Let's get this thing together. I'm hoping that doesn't affect the action, that the, that pivot's so hard to get in. Back it off a little bit. I don't think it is. These scales are chunky. It's kind of taking me a second to get used to the knife again. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're good. Little bit of play, but we'll we'll tune that out. Let's make sure everything's all tightened up here. It's tight. It seems am I using why does that seem loose? No, it's a T. 
56. Okay, that one's tight. That one's tight. Let's tighten these up. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Oh yeah, we're good. There's a little bit of lock stick now for some reason. That's fine. All right, let's get our pocket clip on there. All right, like that. Uh, I can do it without them falling out. Yep, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're freaking doing it. I think. Are we not doing it? Are we not doing it? Oh, you know what? I think we need to use, yeah, we need to use the shorter screws. These screws are too long for this clip. That's what's happening. So let's get these out. It comes with, uh, the kit came with some, so that's great. These are sometimes hard to get in. Oh, they're T8s. Good job, AWT. Where's my T8? Right there. Are they T8s? What are they? Oh, they're T8s. That's freaking cool, dude. Pocket clip screws that are T8s. Amazing. So that's kind of how, how you have to get these in here. I usually put them on the driver or on the uh, the bit and then turn it sideways or upside down and then get them in. Oh, I just lost one. Great. Well, I'm just gonna give up. Build's over. <laughs> come on, buddy. There we go. Gotcha. Don't come out, don't come out. There we go. Last one. Come on, little doggy. There we go. We're in. We're in. All three. Okay. Let's thread these babies in. Much better. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Get on my driver. There we go. Ah, oh, we lost one. No. It's okay. We'll be all right. Let's do it this way. you want to go in there all right we're back so I figured it out um, what I had to end up doing was um, getting it kind of started and then getting in here with my Leatherman and twisting this far right screw until it got down far enough to where I could get my bit onto it so uh, be aware of that if you're putting in an MXG deep carry clip on this knife with these scales um, it's a little bit of a, a problem um, this clip needs to be redesigned so that this whole area is wider or something. Something needs to change so that can, can go in easier. Um, all right, so check it out. This thing looks amazing, dude. These things are thick, too. It's actually, I don't know. I might even say they're more comfortable than, this, than the uh, standard ones. Just because it's a lot thicker, like this thing, it just fills out your hands so nice. They're thick, meaty boys. Look at that. Backspacer is totally flush all the way around. Looks really nice. Looks great with this clip. Absolutely awesome. Um, the hole is a little bit more hidden underneath the scale. There, you can see kind of just the very bottom of it is behind the scale, but that doesn't stop me from being able to uh, access it at all. 
I can e do it very easily still. I'm still tuning it. Um, we have false shot action and slight blade play. But that's okay because that's where I was at before with the old scales. Um, I wasn't able to get rid of the blade play completely, but it's very minimal. And um, I'm happy with this action. You don't have to f use your wrist. You just pull down the axis lock and it, it falls shut. Sweet. I love them. The stone washing on them looks great. Very nice. I kind of wish the pivot was stainless as well. That's still the black one. Um, but these this hardware that it came with looks really nice. Nice flat-headed Torx screws. Nice polish to them. Um, yeah, everything's, the, you know, the fit up's really nice. Um, no gaps anywhere um, where the liners meet up with the scale. Everything looks really good. Um, it is a little heavier than it used to be, but I mean, it's aluminum scales, so it's still pretty freaking light. I mean, if you had titanium on here, it would be much heavier, but these are aluminum, so um, this really is a, a really perfect weight. And man, it is so comfortable. Really, really comfortable. Awesome. Well, there you go. These are scales from um, AWT. They have a lot of other options over there. They make them for not just Benchmade, but um, uh, Spyderco and I think a few other dis um, uh, knife dis makers <laughs> as well. So, um, yeah. Go over there and check out what they got. And, yeah, that'll be about done. That'll be about done it. Gosh. I really can't talk right now. I don't know what's going on. I had a long day. And I have to be up tomorrow at uh, 1 a.m. to go work. So I'm going to go to bed right now after I play with this a little more. Let's get out on my monotone stuff really quick. Um, I'm just really liking my, my monotone kind of uh, collection here. It's looking really nice. Oof. You can even put this one in there. It's aluminum, but it works. This one with a little splash of blue. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. It's looking very good. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. And, um, yeah, see you in the next video. I'll link these down below so you can go check them out and the clip as well. Um, and I'll link to this driver, too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Adios.